Hello, my good viewers. This morning, we are in Kenya. Frederick Dungu. Vlogging uh, from Ohio Estate, Kenya, Karuri, Kenya. I'm on that site now where we started building this house. And as you can see, the floor has been concreted. And now, the process of starting the, the walling is uh, out of the way. Thank you for following me. Uh, if you, in case you not see the previous videos, please see them so that you can see how far we have come from and where we are now. Thank you so 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 much. As you can see, the workers are now coming to get jobs here, and uh, many have come, but only a few that will be engaged today. The engineer is talking about it. He is urging those who will not have the chance today to go look for job elsewhere in another site because there are several sites. Uh, and as you can see the floor, how beautiful it is. Can't imagine how it was yesterday. I know it's a concrete jungle where people are stepping on and a new and walling will start soon. Uh, this is very early in the morning, it's about uh, 7 that a.m. in the morning. Uh, it is very chilly. As you can see the skies are cast with heavy and misty the clouds all over and uh, i love you so so much because you keep on watching and following me and as i told you earlier in another video everything is up the viewership is up uh, watch hours is up subscription is up and i hope the momentum will continue uh, so that <coughs> i will get to the required number of subscribers there are thousand that's required and uh, four thousand watch hours which is just about i thank you so, so so much because of working with me without you i cannot be who i am today i am uh, i am in youtubing because of you if i posted and nobody watched i the, my work could have been futile and nothing uh, i could have been doing but now i have got a uh, people who follow me people always with me and as you can see there my good people the 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 timber which was holding the raw concrete is being removed because the concrete has already uh, formed and in place and curing will continue as they also do the walling together uh, instead of the area of practice where the curing will be done for about uh, uh, 14 days or so before they start any work on it but now Things have changed. People do it immediately after concreting. They only give few hours a day, and then they start doing the work the following day. As you can see, the work has earnestly started here. My good people, thank you all. Thank you for the new subscribers. Welcome. Uh, the returning subscribers, please welcome. And everybody else who could be seeing uh, for one reason or another, please was you welcome. Some have told me it pops into their channels and they watch it. Thank you so, so, so much. Because there are those who it pops and they don't watch what I, I vlog about. Thank you so, so much because I am giving you authentic videos from Kenya, East Africa, Africa. I'm showing you the real people, the real place, the real building, no photoshopping. It is completely authentic. I cannot lie in any way because I'm not brought up to lie, so I give you the best. I don't know uh, even Photoshop and add anything else, but it's the real footage that happened here on the ground. Thank you for my good followers. Uh, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you as we continue vlogging on this site. <laughs> Thank you, my good friends. As we continue washing, as you can see the floor now, how it looks like. The, the stones are being arranged. These are machine cut, cut stones, not like the ones which went on the foundation, as you saw it, as I showed you. Thank you, as you can see the preparation soil for starting the walling. And I want to show you all the processes that you, you are, are taken to start walling. 
Uh, see how the beautiful, the beautiful flow. Uh, we see the work. It starts before before eight o'clock. <coughs> there are very many people who come to seek for employment or engagement. This one, today. but it was. Not possible because as we come from the ground, the work is lighter. It will be a bit uh, tedious when we go to the next floor. See, the, they want to make uh, beams. They want to grow the beams. And uh, the person who deals with the uh, metal rods and metal bars, they are already doing it. You can see how beautiful the, the floor is. I see the formation. behave of activities as you can see see how they carry the stones they carry the stones on their shoulders Salam alaikum. Me Salam alaikum. You see the lorries upon lorries brought uh, the machine cut stones. They are easier to work with and they are faster because you only press them. They already have got their corner and uh, they, are, they are nine. Nine by nine, uh, the one used for story building. And you see the huntsmen are the one carrying, and uh, the people working on the floor there, but standing up there are the masons themselves. They have got skills, so their work is to work on the wall, not to carry the materials. Though in the case a site is not uh, as big as this one, they also do, do manual work. They also carry materials. Those are the heaps and heaps of many rooms. I can see there are from the one, two, three, about, <coughs> about four lorries. The next meet, and each lorry will carry about 300 uh, pieces. So that is this are about uh, 15, 
1500 pieces more than 500 pieces and I'm sure this one will be able to, to complete the ground floor Habari ya subui umelaukaje kazi una bahati ulipata kazi oh two, two of you oh one it was not lucky so you were there the other day okay On the site, I can see there. On this site, my good friends, there are about uh, 13, 13 workers today, and we have got two ladies. She was lucky to have uh, to be engaged because there were very many, more than 20, but only few who got this job. They were lucky today on this site. <laughs> so, so especially there on the ground, there's preparation of the mortar. Now, this time the mortar will be made of sand and cement. That's what they are measuring there. So that uh, they have mortar ready for the work to proceed. This is the site from this angle. As you can see it, my good friends. That is it. And uh, now this is the parking area in this compound. And as I showed you in the other video, you saw there is a veranda which goes all the way around to the kitchen where the kitchen will be placed. Stones being placed on the on the floor, ready for the work of walling to commence. At the hip, every hip indicates the number of masons that have been engaged today. See, everybody here carries the load both men and women. Everybody's busy here. Doing one thing or another. They are lucky too, there's a lot of water. The pipe was still delivering water here. Initially they had to buy from dunk cart puller. Here is uh, the metal hook called the measurement. So these, these are for making the pillars, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, the columns, mm -hmm. yes. the pillar or columns. They cut off, uh, they cut the metal, metal rods, the hacksaw. You can see, I think 
show you the process of uh, making those pillars. The construction work is well, very fast. If you start today within three days, it will be up, the wall will be up. Having, doing nothing, having masons. It seems as if they are not very made today. It will be about one, two, three, four, about four. Also, As you can see, cement that the uh, mint was put in a store somewhere. Now they are being, they are bringing, bring it here to make uh, the mortar for wall construction. Everybody is carrying, and each is about 50 kilograms. Just to bring it, and that's how they, they open it up and mix, mix with the sand to make our mortar. So that soon you're going to see the process of how they start the walling. Curing the floor, pouring water on the floor for curing purposes. But uh, this site is lucky because the weather is very misty and there's some drizzling, so it will, it will fix itself very well. Temperatures are minimal as we see it. Grounds and now there's a drizzling. Some showering is falling. There is the reasoning. Reasoning. As you can see the bubbles, that is desiring. As you can see, it on the floor where water has been poured. See the process going on. This is ongoing. To start pouring. What water for curing? See the supervisor. <laughs> he fell down. 
He fell down. So he, was, he, was, he was not hurt. My good friends, the work continues. The work of uh, mixing the sand and cement to make our mortar. We should be used to fix the stones and build the walls as we shall start seeing it shortly. And, and good people, it is showering. It's a light, light drizzle here, drizzling, as you can see. The drops of rain on the floor. But it's still work, work is still going on. Because what was said to be done today must be completed. It's curing, and the work of curing has been made is very, very simple and easy today. Because without scorching sand, the concrete floor will, will cure very, very well and be very, very strong. My good friends, now is uh, the time to employ the masons. They must come with their tools, and the uh, engineer is, is inspecting their tools so that they can engage them. <clears throat> if they don't have tools, they are not going to be engaged, as he says. The site is very wet because it has been desertering, but it has stopped. Now it is preparation for dump course. On the floor before the stones are laid on it, there is always a dump course to prevent uh, water. Uh, from assessing or, or going uh, through the walls. And this is what uh, is here put on the, on the ground to be to be, to be cut into pieces of about uh, 10 10 or 12 feet wide. That's about 30 centimeters wide. It is still very cloudy and very chilly here in Kenyatta Road, Juja, Kenya. <coughs> Now is the proper this is a top gear to start the work of walling. Now from what we call the kitchen or mortar, it is ready now to start uh, construction work. <laughs> B 
behavior of activities here. As you see it, my ardent followers, stone is still being carried. So you can see there, stone being carried. So that when the construction may start working, working seamlessly. Now it is cutting. Cutting with this paper. Damn course. I was a Bogana, the little That is a, a language spoken here. One of the dialects. See how they cut, how it's cut easily with a arrow. With a, with a, a a thin rope. Mm -hmm. It's a sign that the sun is coming up. よせ。よせ。あ、じゃあ、どうぞ。ちょっと、ちょっと。ちょっと、ちょっと。ちょっと、ちょっと。ちょっと、ちょっと。ちょっと、ちょっと。ちょっと、ちょっと。ちょっと
you got a, the idea you used to get a pipe. <coughs> to ensure the flatness of the of the floor and the starting the laying of the stone I don't know how one 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 so, six, 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 Follow us, let's see what we do with the dump course. How to be put in position. Are you walk or walk how many inches? In in Saba. Oh. The string has given the height for all the stones laid on that particular course. They should be as high as the, the rope that we see here. <coughs> and they have you to make, make it parallel at the same height. They use the pipe of water to give the proper height. Using spirit lever, but here people have improvised. So the dump course has been green. <coughs> You have to ensure the height is proper from one end to the next to the next one. As engineer, I make sure everything is right before they start with the course. My good people, you can see at, at this start, they are starting putting the motor on top of that street. 
We're still discussing how to, to do it. We just started raising our stone, starting one. The first stone, and here are eight, seven of them. So you can see how it's doing it. Raising of stones, as you can see, has started. It's preparing. Preparing. And this one is easier to work with. It's easier. This is their, their machine cut. And it's easier to work than the quarry stones they were using in the foundation. He's using plumb line, a pipe line to make sure it is perpendicular. Make sure it's perpendicular to the foundation. The placing of the mortar, and from there the stone. From that corner, corner stones have been placed. Placing the mortar. Now laying the stone. Then they are laying the, they are laying those uh, those empty bags are being have to be lined there. So uh, to hold in any falling mortar for for the using that's probably make sure it is just perpendicular <laughs> Okay. Setting the stone and set the first one, all that's four on that line. Done it here. All these paper bags, all these empty bags, had to hold in folding mortar to be reused. Otherwise, if they don't do so, a lot of it will be wasted. So when they start the wall, the first of all, they set the the first stone and the last stone. And once they are parallel, others just follow in the place.
Setting the first. I lost the stone. And make sure it is perpendicular to the ground. Now placing, playing the, the column, the column which will go up to the first floor. So it is done here in Kenya. And again, setting the first course is the is very tedious and it must be done accurately. See there is a consultation from the architecture drawing to make sure everything is set well. If there's a miss, the wall will come down. And then, not forgetting there are government officials who will come and inspect this construction site to ensure things have been done and done well. Motor preparation or preparing, it's usually known as the cooking area. The cooking of the motor. That is the, the language used by people working on the sites, construction industry. They call it Jiko or kitchen. Jiko is Kiswahili meaning kitchen. Consultation is still going on to ensure everything is right. The measurements are correct. The measurement of the wall to wall must be as for architectural drawing. That's a plumb line. Make sure the the stone is parallel to the ground. That's a, that is the making making all the pillars. They are being constructed, as you can see down there, and those which are complete have been put in place and they are very tall they look huge and tall that's how they are making it they are using three items there there is the iron rod there is the the smaller one a binding one and all of them three of them mix that uh, structure which will be concreted to make a pillar and hold the house in all the floors. So this of the motor. 
We can be seen here. The, the most the setting of the first course is the most important course. All others we just follow in place. You see the setting that is placing. You see the the following the following motor is corrected on that paper there and it will be reused. Without that paper, that could have been wasted, it would mix together with the soil. The setting for the first course, which must be done, done very well. Failure, there will be difficulties in the construction. Stones, the first course of the stone. You can see he has got a protective gear, he has got a helmet, a requirement, and start, you know, start walling with the stones. Our debris can follow them and this building increasing courses. Thank you, my good friends. The construction has already started. As you can see, we are laying on the first course. As you can see, and the most difficult to set, but one set. All that follow in place and the construction go on very smoothly and fast. And I'm estimating by the by the third day or second day we we'll have finished with the walling of the ground floor. So you can see this is work which continues and going on. Thank you for following me. Thank you for being with me. As I bring you step by step of construction, construction, construction of a five bedroom mass unit, a box of flat, flat room style from Kenyatta Road, Kenya, at an estate known as Bikoma, Kenya, Juja. Thank you for being with me. Thank you so, 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 so much. I love you so dearly. And remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And if possible, introduce me to our friends, to our relatives, because we are going on well. We are going on well, and there's big hope that we're doing even much better before the end of the year. Thank you so, so, so much. Thank you for watching. I don't take it for granted, but I pray for your well-being, good health and wealth. 
and many years to enjoy on this earth. Thank you so, so, so much. See you in next vlog as we continue with the construction of a five bedroom, marshonet, flat-loved style. Thank you and bye-bye.